person who like rep their city, but I never seen nobody rip the state, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna rip the whole Louisiana. I knew I wanted to make some of myself because my people made some of themselves. So. Oh, I feel like it's real important to have people around you to keep, you know, keep you motivated. I'm Cameron LA and I do comedy. I'm from Baton Rouge, but I grew up in like Bacon and Zachary. Growing up around BR, I had a pretty, pretty decent childhood, you know. I ain't gonna say I had everything, but I had everything I needed for the most part. Most of the shit I wanted. If my people had it, I had it. If they didn't, I just it didn't. We driving through Zachary, one of the spots I grew up at. Shit, we about 10 minutes from Scotland. That's where we headed to. We finna go to Southern for their homecoming and shit. All the Greeks finna be out there. Females out there and shit like that. One of the hood holidays. If you know, you know. If you know, if you haven't heard, you better find out. Let's see if my nigga pick up. Tony, if you don't pick up, you a hoe ass nigga. You heard me? And we gonna add you on Instagram for this bitch too if you don't pick up, nigga. The reason I chose the name I'm Cameron LA was because you always see people like rep their city, but I never seen nobody rip the state, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna rip the whole Louisiana. So I was like, I'm Cameron Louisiana, but it's too long. So I was like, I'm Cameron LA. A little bit you said, because I could barely, it's cracking up every, every word you're saying. Where you at? I'm going there. We better go on this you in the vlog, bitch? You get in the vlog, bitch? Yeah. Go ahead, get in the vlog, you hear me? It's dumb. Yeah. Hey, look, come at me on the ground, five block bar. Yeah. Yo, come five. Hey, look, at me on the ground, you hear me? I'm Black JK, you hear me? We got, we got to know you shit so we can feel it. You know, growing up, you always seen like big names in the city and shit. So when I was young, I was like, I, I just knew I was gonna be one of them. That influenced my name because when I got older, I'm like, shit, I won't put on for my whole state. So I was like, I'm gonna be Cameron, Louisiana. So I'm Cameron LA. I bet they get over. Uh, so what made me want to start posting videos was I always knew I was gonna be somebody, but I ain't know what I wanted to do. So. In class, he used to always tell me, like, you funny. They like, you could be a comedian. So one day, I was like, I'm gonna do comedy, but I ain't wanna be like a stand up comedian, cause I'm like, that shit too scripted, you know what I'm saying? When I was in like high school, niggas like Desi Banks started like popping in Drewski. So I'm like, shit, that's my lane, I could do that. So then I just started posting videos. Fuck y'all! <laughs> hey, Blake, um, I wanna say something. Follow my boy. It's my friend. So I actually, the first time I posted a video was during COVID in 2020, the end of it. Follow me at Delaria, D-L-A-R-I-A-H-H-D-I-J. Shit, I used to always say I'm gonna do it one day, but I never did it. And then one day in COVID, I fucked around, posted a video. And I started, but it wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So I had fucked around, got discouraged. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do it no more. And then I stopped. I ended up joining the military. A year went by, I ended up going like to South Korea. I went on leave one time and I came back home. And I was like, man, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna start it now. I, I was talking to one of my old partners and shit. And uh, I was telling him, like, man, I'm about to start doing these videos and shit. And he was just, like, telling me, like, you know, kind of, like, hyping me up. He was like, bitch, you better start it. So I was like, fuck it. I came home. I recorded, like, 30 videos that week. We gonna have all the beautiful black women lit for the vlog. So the rest of it, I had to be in South Korea for a year. So niggas not even knowing, like, I'm posting videos from that one week over this whole rest. Of, like, I think I had, like, eight months left in Korea at that time. I came back over the course of eight months. I'm still posting videos I made in that one week. How long y'all been out here? Yeah, we really just got out this bit, man. And y'all finna leave? Shit, no, we finna go by the car right quick. They say LSU uh, got that shit going on. Fuck with you. Alright, let me know if you pull up with that bitch, then I'm gonna pull up. I bet that. You say we got too many kills, too many We on campus now, you know what I'm saying? We got like a 15 minute walk, but he go to campus right up. Put that on. You know. But my two main partners, they keep me motivated by like, they tell me to keep going. Like, some days, you know. I might make a video, I might think funny, that shit might not do nothing. Like a lot of videos have been like that, you see what I'm saying? But they always tell me like to keep going and shit. And you know, no matter what, when I'm at home, they always help me record and shit like that. They always like be giving me like good good words, you know, to keep me going and shit like that. My mom probably be rolling that too. My mom always give me, you know, encouraging words. Oh, I feel like it's real important to have people around you to keep, you know, keep you motivated because 
sometimes you might not have that motivation. Like, you know, sometimes people say you got to be motivated yourself. And that's kind of true. But sometimes you need people around you. Some days you might be like, man, fuck it. And you need somebody sometimes to tell you, like, you know, if this is what you want to do, keep doing it. Tickets. We finna see if I can just get in that motherfucker. They got niggas all on the track and shit, so I know they can't be checking at the day, you know what I'm saying? You know, my son finna come out here. Y'all finna be my, you know what I'm saying, my son Tyler. This a bitch-ass nigga right here. <laughs> I hate me. This is how niggas die nowadays. <laughs> you see, I was on the field talk though. Talk your shit for the vlog though. Talk your shit for the vlog. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? Go cash out my own one, you know what I'm saying? Say, hey, hey, fuck with me on the ground, you heard me. Hey, hey, yeah, that's something you heard me. Go, yeah. go tap in with me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I create a process making a video. Sometimes I might have an idea. I might have something happen. Like, oh, I gotta make a skit up there. I'll be talking about some shit with one of my partners. It'll be Joseph, and I'll be like, Shit, let's make a video off of that. Uh, my son, like, he'll tell me something, like, he'll be writing some shit down. I'll see him, he'll be like, let's do a video off that. And I don't ever write down scripts, it just be on the spot. Like, I think of idea, we just gonna, we really be the hardest thing is, what's the first clip gonna be? But after the first clip, we just keep it rolling. It take maybe like five, 10 minutes to record my shit. I just put them together. See nigga at the gas station on the way, we see like four people on the way, we see church on the way. Comedian-wise, I really looked up to uh, Desi Banks. He was one of the first people that actually would make me laugh like when I'm watching the video and I was like, well shit, I wanna be like that. So, you know, I ain't gonna say I wanna be him, but I wanna like have my content like that. So I looked up to Desi Banks a lot. Somebody whose story kind of made me to push me to keep going was uh, Rob Fonan. Like he not no uh, comedian, he a rapper, but you know, he was in the military too. And he from like, you know, Louisiana like me. So I used to think like, can't nobody in the military do something, like do nothing like that. Cause ain't nobody really done it. I'm like, shit, he made some of stuff. He doing that. So I was like, I could do that. We had to take a brief intermission. <laughs> Happy homecoming! Woo! <laughs> Trying that stuff for the vlog, you know, but the hoes are loaded. You know, so yeah. We watch We walking this way. Bro. We gonna find them. You know, we gonna find them. We always do. We we gonna find them. They told us we couldn't get no cameras in, but we gonna get the cameras in. <laughs> LA TV in this bitch, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What is this? The news? Hold on, man. Look. Hey, five, 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 hey, go get that five star apparel real talk. Five. Go ahead, you got time to five star apparel. That's a real nigga clothing brand. Uh, my goals and ambitions with comedy. I want comedy to take me just to the next level as far as everything, like financially. I want it to open up more doors too. Cause like, you know, when I get older, of course I don't want to be a comedian when I'm like 40, 50. I want like get into like making movies and shit like that. Not making movies, but being like acting in movies and shit. You know, I just want to open up more vendors outside of that shit, you know, probably hosting parties, shit like that. Uh, I want to be a business owner one day. I want to take all that shit to the next level. <laughs> Why you grill? Oh, he got a bed. Yeah. Is he a big This what it be. Tell the vlog with Zam. We on a vlog. Tell the vlog with Zam, nigga. How y'all feeling? <laughs> what I'd say to somebody that's just starting out was, you know, just keep going and shit. That's probably the main thing, not giving up because you don't have people gonna be doing that hating ass shit like that, be watching you. Like, I didn't have people walk up to me. Like, most of the people walk up to me, tell me they fuck with my shit, like in person and shit like that. Social media. They ain't knowing my comments, knowing my likes and shit like that. So you're gonna have to get through like hating that shit. It's like a real bandwagon ass, you know, thing. So you gotta kinda really want it for real to keep going, promote yourself. If you got extra money, pay for people to like, promote your shit like that. Tell your friends to promote your shit and believe in yourself. Dip in the vent, I take some hoes, go get you a check okay. Sign me a deal, you know I'm a blitz You know I'm thick, I'm screaming who niggas Don't, don't, don't care about the glitz, we sliding with ticks Niggas with cuddles, we do it the best Nigga, we lacking, we did some dick He say he'll step, we put him in the Put my pants up, they think I'm a gangster, bro Uh, Cameron LA, LA TV, who I'm here with today? Big Nini Shout out your Instagram. My definition of hard work is just chasing after what you want. I say working hard is just keep doing it, even when you don't want to do it. Like, just keep doing it. That's hard work. You know, shout out to everybody that support a nigga for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's liking my shit. You know, commenting my shit, sharing my shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that want to see a nigga. You know, I fuck with y'all the long way.
Shout out my, my man, my man's Tyler too. I, I say that he probably played one of the biggest roles in comedy outside my mama. Like if I got a vent about some comedy shit, something to do with that, he always there for it. You know, some days he probably don't be one to do all that shit, but no matter what, he always was there for me through that. So shout out my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So if I get on, he gonna be one of them niggas that's, you know, gonna be there with me. Follow me at all platforms. I'm LA. Thank y'all for tuning in with JS1. Y'all go like, comment, and subscribe. You don't smoke, just keep a stack. Y'all let do not live like that. I tell Big A, put his head on flat. I'm Trey A, can't change on that. I'm Cameron LA. I'm 20 years old, and I'm addicted to tricking. The first time I paid for pussy was in the fifth grade at the concession stand. Yeah, everybody knew me for paying for all the bad bitches' snacks. You know, hot Cheetos, Takis, all the above, Skittles. You know. Hell no, I wasn't paying for the bad bitches' food. Bad bitches only. At first, I wouldn't say I was tricking. I would just say I was having that shit, you know? I first know I had a problem when I got to college and when bitches wouldn't let me fuck, I tried to throw money at them. My partner told me it wasn't right. I wouldn't say I couldn't pull a bitch without money. It just helps a lot because a lot of these bitches be broke, so. Yeah, my biggest pet peeve with tricks nowadays is when they keep saying it's not tricking if you got it. Bitch, it's still tricking. I hate when a bitch give a size to itself, though, thinking I'm paying house notes and shit like that. No, I'm paying small utilities. The water bill, the light bill, maybe even the Wi-Fi. You hear me? But no, we not, no, 